Hey, I'm Watts. The United Wrestling Network is partnering with Pro Wrestling Cares along with West Coast Pro Wrestling and Defy Wrestling to help raise money for civil rights organizations. It's important to donate because without your help, nothing will be accomplished. Things will stay the way they are, oppression will continue, and nothing will get better. If you have the means, please donate. Any amount helps. Thank you. The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Welcome to Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Ugh. In case you hadn't heard, good guys wear masks. But welcome back to Championship Wrestling, again, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. Happy 4th, everyone. I am Bimbo Jimbo Kincaid, coming to you once again out of my home here in San Francisco. And we have another action-packed edition of Championship Wrestling for all of you. It will be Heather Monroe and Lacey Ryan, the third in their best of seven series. And what does Halston Body have in store? And in our main event, it will be the Wolf Zaddies taking on Vermin. All that and more. This is Championship Wrestling, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 223 pounds, outlandish Zicky Dice. We welcome you wherever you're watching the great action of championship wrestling. Todd Kennelly, Jeff Resnick, Blake Bulletproof Troop here with you. And somebody that's been all over the place recently has been outlandish Zicky Dice. He's been in Atlanta, Georgia with the National Wrestling Alliance. Just an upspring of success in his career. Introducing his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Golden Boy, Jordan Clearwater. And of course, this will be a showcase, TK and Troop, a showcase of uh, some of the great competitors that competed in the PP3 tournament this year. Yeah, no doubt about it. Both these guys uh, made it pretty far into the tournament, both qualified. And Zeke Dice lost to Anthony Idol, one of the finalists in the tournament in the quarterfinals, so a tough draw there. Two big heavyweights went at it, and Jordan Clearwater, more recently, gentlemen, was eliminated in the semifinals by Ray Roses, but a great showing. Came so close to punching his ticket, his ticket to the final of the PP3. That, of course, will happen next week as Anthony Idol faces Ray Roses, but a great showcase match, as you mentioned, Jeff. Two great competitors about to go out in here, Blake. Your thoughts as we get ready for the opening bell. Absolutely, I'm excited. You could tell when two guys start getting into it before the bells even rang, that once that bell rings, it's gonna get popping. Momentum, so important in professional wrestling. And both these guys had momentum in the tournament, then lost it. So big step back, trying to get back to their winning ways. Mickey Dice has had his eyes on the likes of the NWA television title. Champion, the stroke daddy. Oh, I'll tell you what, you gotta, gotta love the, 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 the outlandish personality of Zicky Dice, don't you TK, you gotta love it. I'm not sure I'm sold just yet, but he, he is able to play the mental game of chess there, uh, Blake as well, and you know, try and get his opponent, especially one as young as Clearwater, out of his element. He's one of my favorite competitors to watch because he comes out here and has fun. He's not just here to win. He's out here to have a good time. Nice amateur takedown there and some calisthenics. Well, Ziggy Dice in control. He's feeling confident. He's feeling good, TK. Well, and we know that Clearwater is fundamentally sound once under the tutelage of Carl Machine Gun Anderson, then for a while before uh, under the learning tree of Ray Rosas. That's, of course, before Rosas snapped on him. But Ziggy Dice taking back over control of the action. And Ziggy Dice did put in the work 
Really, you know, recently, as we see the headlock takeover, Zicky Dice recently posted an early career picture, you know, when he was in shape, that being round. He's worked so hard in the gym, guys, to become what he is right now, and it's paying off in big ways in his career. Absolutely, he's come out here and started the match fantastic, taking complete advantage of Jordan Clearwater. Let's see if he's able to switch gears and continue running off with this match. Into the uh, attempted head scissors, I gotta wonder, Jeff, do you think that Zicky Dice tried to keep his opponent close? He knows how dangerous that Midas touch boot is, but he needs, Clearwater needs distance to connect. That's right, oh wait, watch out here. Zicky Dice holds on. Headlock takeover again, back up. Only got a one count there, but that's right. Jordan Clearwater, he can hit that Midas touch boot. It could be lights out for Zicky Dice. Dice knows it. It's almost like Halston Body came out here and said you have to win by headlock takeovers only. But uh, we'll see another stipulation later on in the program. What's that stipulation oh. going to be in match three? Uh-oh, the hips don't lie, fellas. <laughs> Shoulder blocked by Zicky Dice. Here he goes off the ropes. Oh! You can tell Zicky's really starting to frustrate Jordan Clearwater. Jordan throws a big bomb at Zicky, oh. gets countered again. Wait, I thought he was almost jump guard there, but turned it into a, a head scissors takedown. Looking oh. for the Midas touch, that was close. Oh, big neck breaker there by Clearwater. Goes high impact, Zicky rolling to the outside. That's right, Zicky Dice decided to take a break here. Take a second. Smart move by Zicky, because like you were talking about earlier with momentum, he pulled out of the ring as soon as Jordan started getting a little bit of leeway. In control, but Zicky Dice, you know, run into the sidelines there, getting that break in the action, taking advantage of the count and of course such a big big uh, you know big event we have here today of course our main event tk main event the zaddies against Furman. can't wait for that well it brought in zicky dice the hard way yep. absolutely jordan clearwater's playing smart he's starting to get a little momentum and he's going to continue the, the pressure oh there you go yeah i agree with you he's a pressure fighter right now is clearwater he's getting his hands literally all over zicky dice I think I think all the, the you know the games and, and Ziggy Dice playing around finally, ooh, finally catching up to him, Todd. You can tell by the look on Ziggy Dice's face that one hurt. You know, gentlemen, all that Ray Roses did to put this youngster through the ringer, I think we're seeing a more deliberate, fired up, aggressive Clearwater than we've ever seen before. Well, you know, we talk about Ray Rose as taking Clearwater, you know, uh, you know, uh, under his wing, right? Right, coaching him, teaching him, being his mentor. Maybe that, that final betrayal may be the greatest lesson of all, TK. Uh, we'll find out more to come. This match continues right after this on Championship Wrestling. This is a paid advertisement for legal services by Philip George's. Do not stop taking prescriptions without consulting a physician. Attention, the heartburn medication Zantac has been linked to cancer. The FDA has called for the popular over-the-counter heartburn medication Zantac to be pulled from the market. If you were diagnosed with cancer and were a daily user of Zantac, call attorney Philip George's and join the Wolf Pack right now. Zantac may have caused your cancer. I'm attorney Phil Georges. If you or a loved one were a daily user of the heartburn medication Zantac and were diagnosed with cancer, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you were diagnosed with breast, stomach, bladder, kidney, pancreatic, colon, or any type of cancer after using Zantac, call attorney Philip Georges and join the Wolf Pack. You may qualify for a cash award. Call 1-800-651-2929. That's 1-800-651-2929. 1-800-651-2929. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. 
Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling, a match featuring two of the competitors from this year's PP3 tournament. Going toe to toe. Oh! A lot of bragging rights, big release German suplex, beautifully done there by Dice. We have seen a back and forth match, TK. Watch out, Zinky Dice for the cover. Two, no. Tell you what, that was a close one, Troop, huh? That was. You really start seeing the momentum changing back and forth. Who's going to start running away with this match? Is Zinky going to continue the lead he initially had? Dice is on a roll, that is for certain. That was a huge turning point in the matchup, that release German suplex. I gotta wonder what would happen if he had kept the lock and bridge. Might have been able to put him away. I really think he caught Clearwater off guard. And that's just it, guys. This Zicky Dice, he's so unpredictable, you never know what he's gonna hit you with. That's right, you never know what Zicky Dice has in store. What, oh, look at these shots. Ever seen a hip gyration elbow? That's my point. You just never know, he'll attack from all angles. Uses the mind games, Blake, to try and open up that door of the advantage. It's working for Dice right now. Absolutely, and I think that some of these mind games are what's frustrating Jordan Clearwater so much. And now just basically raking the eyes, gouging Clearwater. Well, these guys again were in that PP3 tournament. The finals take place on next week's episode. That's Ray right. Rosas, Anthony Idol for all the marbles. What a huge matchup that's going to be. The winner of the PP3 Cup tournament. The winner, the guy who gets Percy's privilege, a title shot at any title they want at any time they want. All right, we're going to have a, it's going to be an earthquake here on the San Andreas. We're here in Hollywood. Oh, oh no! About a seven, but doesn't get the one, two, three. Only a count of two. Yeah. Yeah. You, you gotta think that the devastation, the impact of all of the weight of the Zicky Dice on the solar plexus of Jordan Clearwater, TK. Oh, it's gonna make it tough to breathe, I would have to think. And, and what, what, what does it do to you, Blake, as a competitor in there when you start to gas out, you start to lose that oxygen? It's one of the toughest things you can start doing is when you need to suck air and somebody smashes it all out of you. It is the worst. Something that Clearwater is experiencing right now. Maybe a more of a variety of offense from Zicky Dice. Maybe hitting the road, all this traveling, he's picking up new wrinkles to his offense. Nothing pretty about that, but certainly very effective as he goes for the cover. Hooks the leg, only a count of two. Competitive match to kick off the blockbuster. Very, very back and forth matchup. Again, two men who were in the PP3 Cup tournament. Two men who want to get back on the winning ways, the winning ways here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Ooh, right to the, right to the wrist. When we talked about trying to get oxygen in that body, this isn't going to help Clearwater. You see it there, Blake. Clearwater is changing colors before our very eyes. Absolutely. Once he started sucking air and he's gotten that oxygen jet, now he got Zicky Dice wrenching on his neck, trying to, trying to make it even harder for him to breathe. Oh, watch out, Clearwater. I think getting that second win, maybe that third win, TK. Kid's got so much heart. Fought so hard in that semifinal matchup. Kind of got cheated. My oh, oh my gosh, what a collision! Both went for the crossbody, and bodies go down in a heap. Looked like a car crash. That was brutal, TK. I mean, Zicky Dice almost took Jordan Clearwater's head off with a clothesline before that collision. Man. Well, Blake, if they couldn't breathe before, they certainly can't breathe now. What a shot. What a shot. Both guys are sacrificing their bodies to attack each other. Let's see if they're able to get up in time for the 10 count. I yeah, don't want to see a double count out to you. Whoa, oh, whoa, look at that for some style points. Zicky Dice. An outlandish kip up. Oh. Come on, Zicky. Gotta love this, huh, Troop? Absolutely. As a combat sports athlete, I love watching two guys stand toe to toe and knuckle up. Who's got the heart? Who's got the desire? Who's got the will to win, guys? Full head of steam. Zicky oh. Dice follows in, catches him. Kitchen sink. Got him with the knee. Right to the bread basket. Clearwater got a little bit overzealous. He landed a few strikes and tried to go in for the kill, but. Rolling the dice indeed. Hold on, is he gonna get him? Here's the cover. Only a count of two, that was close. 
Looks like Zicky Dice looking to put the finishing touches on Jordan Clearwater. I'm with you, he's measured, he's got Clearwater measured. High impact maneuver really took a lot out of the youngster. Looking to put him away perhaps. He can neck break, outlandish neck breaker doesn't hit it. Oh, Midas touch. Will it turn to gold? Will it turn to victory? Indeed. Wow. The way Ziggy Dice head snapped Here back after that Midas winner, touch. Jordan Clearwater. We'll have another look at it in a second, Blake. We take a look back at the action brought to you by Championship Wrestling's Birthday Bash coming up Memphis, Tennessee, AutoZone Park, featuring the best of Championship Wrestling, the NWA, AEW, and so much more. What a match. You saw that big rolling fisherman, but then when it came down to it, the Midas touch, take us through the impact. She can watch as he lifted his boot up. Ziggy Dice's head just bounced off of the mat. David Marquez standing by. Okay, Todd, thank you very much. Standing by Shut here. Up. Wait, what? Shut up! This is your fault. My fault? This is all your fault. How is this my fault? You lost. I had nothing to do with that. You said Ziggy Dice, come to Hollywood. Let me make you a star. Well, guess what I did all by myself, Marquez? I am a star! I am Hollywood! And I am sick and tired of your games and entertaining all these people week after week. You guys think I'm the loser? Ha! Huh? No. You're the losers. Memphis is the losers. Armarillo are the losers because, listen, you will never, and I mean never, see Sticky Dice here again! Again. I don't know what that just was, ladies and gentlemen. Jiggy Dice just says he's not gonna return here to Championship Wrestling. What does that mean for the future? Right after the break, ladies action. If you owe 10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed 87,000 in taxes, but listen, your tax problem is settled. You only owe $3,500. What a great message. I owed $11,000 on my taxes, but now... Congratulations, you only owe $2,068. How's that sound? If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Even if you are already at the point where you're struggling with levies and garnishments, let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. We owe the IRS $48,000. But check out what we actually paid. Are you sitting down? You only owe $3,571. Call 800-921-1504 or go to tax10,000.com. That's 800-921-1504. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by attorney Robert Goldwater. Do not stop taking a prescribed medication without first consulting a physician. Attention, the heartburn medication Zantac has been linked to cancer. The FDA has called for the popular over-the-counter heartburn medication Zantac to be pulled from the market. If you were diagnosed with cancer and were a daily user of Zantac, call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. Zantac may have caused your cancer and you may be entitled to compensation for what you've been through. If your loved one was a daily user of the heartburn medication Zantac and were then diagnosed with cancer, call us right now. You may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you were diagnosed with stomach, bladder, kidney, pancreatic, colon, or any type of cancer after using Zantac, call the Goldwater Law Firm. You may qualify for a cash award. Call 1-800-932-1148. That's 1-800-932-1148. 1-800-932-1148. Health Markets compares your current plan with thousands of options nationwide from national insurance companies. That's why I love Health Markets, your insurance marketplace. They guarantee you won't find a lower price anywhere for the plans they offer. In minutes, you can find out if your current plan is the right fit or if there's another one that can get you extra coverage or help save you money. The Health Markets Fit Score makes it easy to find the right plan for you. Call now to find out how you can take advantage of this free service. Representatives are standing by to assist you. The following contest is match three in a best of seven series. Introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Lacey Ryan. 
Lacey Ryan certainly looks to have her game face on, and she better. She's in a two to nothing deficit in this best of seven series. Another loss would be really costly. Stipulations have been the name of the game. First, it was that five count pin followed by submissions only. What's it gonna be this time? Who knows, TK, who knows? But I know we're gonna find out very soon. It doesn't matter what he's got planned for. She needs to come out here and fight her fight if she wants to take the W home today. You know, Houston has some plan when he's got shiny pants quiet on. Quiet down, quiet down, an adult is speaking. So he's always got something planned. Lacey Ryan, welcome back for another edition of Watch Lacey Ryan Lose to Heather Monroe. Darling, I am hoping that you watched all that Heather Monroe footage I told you to watch. Studied up real hard. But darling, here comes a curveball that even the Houston Astros couldn't predict. Your opponent isn't Heather Monroe for the third match. Your opponent is... What's this all about? It's Bait getting switch. It's getting eerie in here. Oh my good, you... Vipress? Vipress is gonna make her Championship wrestling debut by interjecting into this best of seven series. Isn't it supposed to be a best of seven series between Lacey Ryan and the Keller Bay? What's this all about? House and Bodie throwing those curveballs, like he said, and this was definitely an unpredictable curveball. I think Halston's making the rules and he's, he's changing them as he goes, TK. Oh, if he can name the stipulation, I guess you can uh, name a substitute as well. And this is very dangerous, Vipress. Very tough competitor, and certainly no one that Lacey Ryan would have been prepared for. And how about Halston telling Lacey Ryan, you better do your tape study, you better watch all the footage you can of Heather Monroe setting the stage for this. Absolutely, you can tell Halston's really enjoying this, and you can see the frustration on Lacey's face with this curveball. A serpent of evil, viperous. And you gotta think Heather Monroe's watching on, and she is just loving this, TK. Just loving it. But yeah, she's up two to nothing. And now she can just sit back and hope that Vipress will earn a third consecutive victory. You can see a pu the puzzled look on the face of, of Lacey Ryan, who certainly would have been, you got to prepare for anything in this best of seven series, but not even Lacey Ryan could have thought of this. Hey, let, let me ask you, TK, have you ever heard of a best of seven series where like the, the person changes midway through? No, uh, not a exactly. Substitution? That's, that's <laughs> why I questioned it earlier. Leave it to Halston and those shiny pants and his and his plans. You can tell he's proud of himself with <laughs> that smile on his face, though. All right, so here we have it. It, it. You know, so therefore, if Vipress does beat Lacey, it'll count as a victory for, I guess, Team Killer Bay on the other side. Lacey Ryan able to earn a victory and try and close that gap. Again, she's down two to nothing. Well, Vipress definitely has a lot of confidence and, and again, just throwing Lacey Ryan completely off her game, TK. You ever been in a situation like this, Troop, where your, 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 your opponent changed at the very last minute? You know, luckily we signed contracts, so they don't have a choice in switching things out. That's that always be ready to fight mentality, though. Sometimes you fighter does have to face an alternate, but this one was premeditated. You know, usually that happens because of a disqualification, an injury, something like that. You know, this one, the brainchild of Halston Body. Head scissors here by Vipress. Quickly out of there is Lacey Ryan. And expect an aggressive Lacey Ryan because she desperately needs a win. You don't want to go down three to nothing. Then you're one step away from losing the series. Three to zero is definitely a deep hole to have to climb out of. It's not, it's not only a deep hole. I mean, let's face it, guys. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You don't want to be in that position. It's true. But that embarrassment, I think, it's tempered somewhat with these ridiculous stipulations. But I guess it's something that, you know, Heather's had to face as well in their previous matchups. The stipulations, without a doubt, are having an impact on how these matches are playing out. However, that's why Lacey Ryan needs to come in and fight her fight. Not let the stipulations distract her or pull her out of her game. Not happening right now. She's the recipient of some aggressive kicks there in the corner by the Serpent of Evil. But Lacey Ryan coming right back there. And, and, and you know, like, like we talked about TK, like we talked about Troop, Lacey Ryan was told, study your tapes. You know, plan to straight up cover. 
a little uh, arrogant uh, cover there, TK. Yeah, you know what? I'll tell you, I, I think that it's no surprise if there was going to be an alternate, there'd be somebody like Vipress because she's just oh. as full of herself as, as, and confident as Heather Monroe is, if that's even possible. Following in, big shot in the corner. Nice knee there by Lacey Ryan into the snap mare. Boy, look at this. Fluidity of motion here, guys. Outside, oh. inside elbow. Beautifully done. Lacey Ryan's starting to catch her stride here in this match. Well, you know, like you mentioned, she's fighting her fight for the first time. She's finally getting her footing, getting grounded a little bit. And then, and, and do you think that every time Lacey Ryan is, is striking Vipers that she's picturing the face of Heather Monroe? I would imagine so. I, or possibly Halston Body, perhaps. That's just what I was going to say. Ooh. Using the ring as a weapon there is Vipress. Dangerous competitor. Absolutely. Lacey has to make sure that she doesn't allow Houston to distract her during this match, though. He's definitely going to try. Ooh, full mount here. A little ground and pound. You've done plenty of that Ooh, in your those career. Those are vicious strikes by Vipress. Into the cover now. Puts the body weight down as Vipress. So transitions from the ground and pound into a pinning predicament. And much like these stipulations, keeping Lacey Ryan off balance. Well, Vipress has all the advantage. She knew about this match. This was planned. This was the master plan of Halston Body. An interesting thing we see is Vipress is trying to do a lot of damage. So even a win here for Lacey, she's still taking damage for the rest of this seven fight series. Yeah, that's an excellent point because someone, oh, oh hold on here as Vipress goes for the cover. Someone who definitely has low mileage now with this one is Heather Monroe because she doesn't have to compete in this matchup. So you're right, whatever match four is going to be, be, Heather Monroe will be rested. She'll be fresh. That's a huge advantage. Lacey Ryan right at the feet of Halston Body. Halston looks like he's going to be up to something. We've got to take a break. This matchup continues. Can Lacey Ryan rally and score a victory? We'll be back. Are you or a loved one between the ages of 50 to 80 years old? If you are younger than 80 years old, do you receive Social Security, Disability, or Medicare? If you answered yes, you may qualify for $30,000 in funeral insurance for only pennies a day. The average funeral costs around $11,000, and Social Security only pays $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to see if you qualify for $30,000 in funeral expense coverage from Senior Legacy Life. Your rate will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease, and there is no medical exam, even if you have a pre-existing disease or illness. Don't be a financial burden to your family. Lock in your rate by completing an application over the phone right now. Will you qualify for funeral insurance up to $30,000 for only pennies a day? Find out for free by calling Senior Legacy Life. Call 1-800-928-5049. That's 1-800-928-5049. 1-800-928-5049. The APW Training Academy will help you develop the fundamentals of professional wrestling. The All Pro Wrestling Training Center is now open for enrollment. Contact us today. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Welcome back, everyone. No, you're not missing anything if you're just joining. This is match three of a best of seven series between Lacey Ryan, who you see in the ring, and Heather Monroe, who is conspicuous by, his ab by her absence. Hold on here as Vipress, the stipulation was she would substitute for the Killer Bay in this matchup, and that's what we've got here, keeping Lacey Ryan guessing. And an aggressive Vipress has been very effective thus far. Vipress now working over the leg of Lacey Ryan. Again, and, and Lacey Ryan also having to deal with the, the taunting, the words of Halston Body on the outside, Troop. 
Absolutely. She cannot, like I mentioned earlier, she cannot allow herself to get distracted by Houston. She's dealing with a whole lot right there with Vipress. Boy, leg not supposed to bend like that. Nasty leg lock there by Vipress. And that's going to take some of the spring out of the legs and some of the high-risk offense that Lacey Ryan's known for, gentlemen. Yeah, we, we, we saw the speed, the agility of Lacey Ryan earlier. Probably going to be a little tougher from here on out, huh, Troop? Absolutely, and if she keeps working on that knee, like I was saying earlier with this seven-match series, who knows how this is going to feel the next time Heather Monroe and Lacey Evans get in the ring together. Lacey Ryan, yeah, is in big trouble here. That leg being put on the dissection pan and being pinned into the wax here, so to speak. You gotta wonder, was this the plan? Was this the master plan to take out the wheel of Lacey Ryan to set her up even weaker for match four? You've gotta think so. House and Bodie's a smart man. He's been making all kinds of stipulations to make sure that Killer Bay wins. So you gotta imagine that's the case. So basically saying Viper's kind of a paid assassin here to do the dirty work, injure Lacey Ryan. And if she can pick up a victory along the way and make it three to nothing, open that door for Heather Monroe to come and get that series closing win in match four and maybe get the clean sweep. But we'll see. We're not there yet. Lacey Ryan's got tons of fight, tons of heart. Oh, and small package. Got an inside cradle. Almost got it done. That was a close one. Definitely TK. surprised Vipress with that. Got the two count. Kind of desperation though, too. Yeah, well, you, you, you can see Vipress hasn't, hasn't skipped, a, hasn't missed a beat here. She's back on that leg like nothing happened. And, and Lacey Ryan coming off of one submission loss for that seven year stretch. She'd hate to tap twice in the midst of this best of seven series, fighting to try and get to that rope. Oh, look at the torque, really oh. wrenching down and the Achilles as well. All kinds oh. of pain. Look at the agony on Lacey's face. Oh, she gets to the ropes. Walk like that group really attacks several parts of the body. Absolutely, and it's been a continual attack on that knee. We're gonna see if we're gonna see any residual effects on that later in the later on in the match. Big shot there by Vipress. And Vipress just so arrogant, so confident, just taunting Lacey Ryan, telling her to get up. See, Lacey's struggling to even put weight on that leg now. Halston body loving every second of it, and you gotta believe somewhere the Keller Bay watching on. Lacey Ryan, just, it just looks like she's just trying to create space at this point, just to give her an opportunity to, to figure out what to do in this situation. Heather Monroe probably having a spa day, sipping a martini, while Lacey Ryan out there battling for a victory. A lot of strength in the legs, though, but that's going to be a sacrifice play as well. We'll see if oh! the vertical base holds up. It is right now, and a lot of fire in the strikes. So Lacey Ryan, look out here. Sling blade. The power, the aggression of Lacey Ryan. Oh, shot after shot. This turned into a fireworks show right now, courtesy of Lacey Ryan. And you can see she is following. Wait a second, cover. Two. No, that was close, Todd. That was close. Sure was, and I like that too. Did you see Lacey Ryan pulling the hand away from the rope? Forcing Vipress to kick out, not allowing Vipress to get the easy way out, the rope break. What a matchup, back and forth. Absolutely, this she's, has been a scrap. She's rocked, she might be out here, gentlemen, look out. Oh, that was close. These girls are really putting it on the line. I love watching women compete in combat sports. Men feel like they have a place here, but women come and compete oh, wait like a second, cradle Curtis, again. Two. Almost, almost snuck in there and got it again. But that leg, a lot of damage. Oh, down goes Lacey Ryan. She ate all of that. Halston body up there now. Well, what's Halston doing? Well, I think you guys were right. I think the point was to injure Lacey Ryan, but I, I think Vipers could have gotten the victory. Oh, look out. Oh, gravity takes over. Down goes Holst, oh, what a shot! Echoing off the walls of the Ocean View Pavilion. Lacey Ryan, oh, what a strike there with the knee, beautifully done. Is that gonna do it? Oh my gosh, Vipers kicks out, how what did, a match. How did she kick out, TK, how did she kick out? Boy, Lacey Ryan's gotten a lot of victories with that tilt to whirl into the knee. That round the world trip, now into a fireman's carry. Lacey Ryan will not be denied. Rolling through. 
Lacey, Lacey Ryan with the comeback. Lacey Ryan on literally one leg, scaling to the top rope. Can she put away Vipress? Rock splash, adrenaline can do wonders. Wow. Yes, unbelievable. Vipress was so close to winning that Here match. Here is your winner, Lacey Ryan. What a match, Vipress, the hired gun comes in and she didn't disappoint, very impressive. But Lacey Ryan digging down deep, let's look back at the action brought to you by the Championship Wrestling one year anniversary, birthday bash coming your way to Memphis. Here we see it, that vicious leg lock by Vipress, you mentioned, came really close. Absolutely, you can see the way that she's just twerking on him, the agony on Lacey's face. But in the end, Jeff, one-legged, how about that frog splash? One leg, scaling to the top rope, hits the big frog splash, putting Vipress away, what heart? What an athlete, Lacey Ryan. Still to come, our main event, tag team action, and much more here on Championship Wrestling. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now has your AC busted, computer crashed, appliance broken? Then you need ARW, American Residential Warranty. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. Home appliance repairs and replacement can cause stress and cost you over $3,000 per year. But ARW has home warranty plans starting at less than a dollar a day. My air conditioning broke on a Sunday. It was so hot, I called ARW and they came out and fixed it right away. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heaters, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops, even pools and spas, and so much more. All plans are fully customizable and come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call now and get a home security system free with any plan. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. Call to find out which home warranty plan is right for you. All right, folks, John Roberts here, and I'm joined at this time by Anthony Idol. And Mr. Idol, next week you have a date with Destiny in the finals of the PP3 Cup Tournament. What are your thoughts ahead of this monumental matchup? Well, I'll tell you what. The PP3 Cup represents a humongous opportunity for the neon phenomenon. I come away with the cup. That means I get a shot at any championship of my choosing. And I cannot wait to get down with Ray Rosas. Rosas, you want to get on TV and act like, oh, it's so cool to be so cynical because I don't care. Well, Rosas, I do care big time, and I'm going to show everybody how much I care when I get my hands on you and break you in half. Bring your little click. Bring Andy Brown. Bring Adrian Quest, man. I single-arm dumbbell curl dudes bigger than Adrian Quest, and I cannot wait to show everybody how much I care about the PP3 Cup. Who I cannot wait. Ah! Main event time here on Championship Wrestling, a team that's been instrumental in many main events in the decade-long history of this program has been Verma. Vermin, Johnny Yuma, and Kevin Martinson. And Yuma recently has really taken umbrage with the fact that Tito has not embraced his Vermin roots. That's right, Johnny Yuma been all over Tito about that. Again, a lot of bad blood and a lot of history, but we're all gonna see it come to a head right now. You really can't blame Johnny Yuma for having a problem with somebody not being loyal to their roots. I can completely understand that. What better way to settle it than getting inside the squared circle? Amen. The Wolf Daddies are in the house. Sure are. This has got to be a team that you would appreciate, Blake. I love, I love guys that come in and bang, man. It's my favorite. And Todd Kennelly, Jeff Resnick. Lights out extreme fighting heavyweight Blake Bulletproof Troop here with the call to action here at the PP3 Blockbuster. And since erupting on the scene and combining their forces, the Wolf Zaddies have been undefeated and unstoppable. 
The Wolf Zaddy, they're two bad dudes. Bad dude Tito, Che Cabrera. Again, I've known all four men in this matchup for a very long time. Can't wait to see them all tangle. As we celebrate a decade of championship wrestling, this is truly a fitting main event. And here to set the stage for that main event, our own Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is a tech. Shut that mouth, Adnan. I got something to say. Hey, 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 hey. This is a PP3 Finals blockbuster. It's a big day, so why don't we make this a little more interesting? Why don't we see if you guys can do what Scorpio Sky could never do? Let's see if you could do what P.P. Ray could never do. Let's see if you could do what the Rock Nest Monsters could never do. Let's see if you can get rid of Vermin. You boys are looking good. You're kind of looking like you're about to get signed somewhere. So why don't we make this match? What? Hey, if you got the cojones, why don't we make this match? Loser leaves town. Whoa, what? Oh, what? Wait. What do you say, boys? No! I'll take that as a yes. Oh, we're in for a hell of a good time in our Wait. main event. The stakes couldn't be any higher. Loser leaves town. Whoever loses this match, they are going to kiss championship wrestling goodbye. Wait, what, what is going on, TK? Are you telling me that this... Wait. If Johnny Yuma and Kevin Martin lose, they're gone. And if the, if, if, if the Wolf Teddies lose, they're gone. That, that's the point of a loser leaves town match. Yes. I'm in shock. One of the top, one of the top teams in this program are gonna be gone after this matchup. And after all four guys, Blake, I know you're new to the program, have tons of longevity in the 10 year history of this program. Absolutely, I was already excited to watch these two teams bang it out, but now with the emotional stuff on the line, it's even bigger with this loser leaves town. And you can see the intensity of the Zaddies early on in this matchup. They're going full force here, TK. Well, oh, a huge opportunity to eradicate Vermin. They will be big time exterminators if they can do just that. But on the flip side, their future in question as well. What a, what a main event here for week one of the PP3 blockbuster. So much on the line. Again, we talked about all the bad blood, all the history, but again, things just got taken to another level. Huge implications, Yuma misses there. And I'll tell you what, the, the crowd here at the Oceanside, Oceanside View Pavilion don't uh, Ocean View Pavilion don't 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 very much appreciate Johnny Yuma, do they, TK? No, they don't. And and why would they? I mean, he would he's built quite a case to hate him over the years. Shot after shot here by Tito, just full force, full speed ahead. It's a close line. I'm happy to see these two being able to get it in first because the beef really comes down to Johnny Yuma and Tito Escondido. Yeah, bad dude Tito and 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 Yuma, a lot of history with Vermin. Both are former Heritage Champions. And fittingly enough, Yuma used that PP3 and Percy's privilege to get there. Cabrera runs into the knees. Nice counter there by Yuma. Tag in to Martinson. Martinson, a dangerous competitor, can hit you from all angles. But again, Che Cabrera one step ahead with that backbreaker. Z Zaddies are so powerful, but Martinson, deceptively powerful, but gets turned inside out. What a cannon shot there with the clothesline by Cabrera. Wow, striking at its best. Absolutely, Kevin just does not have an answer for Che Cabrera's strength. Not a good start after the bravado, after the chant. Do you think maybe some remorse here? Do you think maybe Yuma wishes he could take it back? But now, Berman using those tactics to get back into this. Listen, I, I don't know what possessed John Yuma to, to, to put his career and Kevin Martin's career in championship wrestling from Hollywood on the line. Did he perhaps just, does he just want to get rid of the Zaddies that badly? Is that what this is about? Well, Kevin I'm, definitely did not look excited to hear that stipulation announced by Yuma. Let's see if it creates a rift between these two during the match. Yeah, that's an excellent point. It, it could really drive a wedge because, you know, if they lose this match, Kevin Martinson guilty by association, and he'll be heading to the hills. And again, as we haven't talked about uh, too much, again, Tito, bad dude, Tito, a former member of Urban, so Tito, uh, Kevin, uh, Johnny, of course, know each other so well. Che Cabrera may be the X factor in this matchup. Look at this Vermin nerve hold. 
of sorts. Using the rope as well. Again, just such unorthodox offense. But they'll smother you. You see this right now, gentlemen. They are smothering Cabrera, not allowing Che to get a breath. Now into the cover goes Ewan. Berman is doing a fantastic job of keeping Che in their corner and controlling him and doing damage. You know what they say, Resnick. Tag Team Wrestling 101, cutting off the ring. That's right, Johnny Yuma and listen, Kevin Martinson, they know that, right? They are tag team veterans, tag team specialists, tag team experts. They know what to do to get the job done. They've been to the top of the mountain many a time. Former tag team champions and they've really taken a lot of starch. They've really held all, they, they've held all the gold here, right? Kevin Martinson, a former television champion, correct? Johnny Yuma, of course, former heritage champion. They have dominated championship wrestling from Hollywood. They work fantastic as a team unit as well. All right, look at this joint manipulation here by Kevin Martinson, a variation of the tried and true abdominal stretch. Fish hooking as well. Well, that's illegal in the lights out cage, but you got five seconds to break here. Tito does not look happy about that fish hook on his teammate. And again, Martinson and Yuma just playing the mind games with the Zaddies at this point. I think, again, cutting off the ring and just getting under the skin of bad dude Tito. And this already, absolutely, this already, guys, would have been a huge tag team main event, a real power struggle, a, 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 a battle for bragging rights. But again, the careers of one of these teams on this program is going to come to an end with this main event. Another shot there by Martinson. I mean, the careers, the complexion of the tag team division in championship wrestling from Hollywood will be forever changed after this matchup. Berman in control, unique tag made as Yuma back in. Berman in control. Can they eliminate the Wolf Zaddies from the roster? We'll find out after this. Attention. If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Hello, I'm Mike Vendell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. That's why I invented MyPillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Hey, I'm Watts. The United Wrestling Network is partnering with Pro Wrestling Cares along with West Coast Pro Wrestling and Defy Wrestling to help raise money for civil rights organizations. It's important to donate because without your help, nothing will be accomplished. Things will stay the way they are, oppression will continue, and nothing will get better. If you have the means, please donate. Any amount helps. Thank you. Welcome back everyone to Championship Wrestling. Throughout the break, Vermin holding on to the advantage. Again, we must mention the stakes in this main event matchup. Ooh, careers on the line, loser leaves town. Tilt to world backbreaker, thereby Cabrera finding a way. By Look at that little rat, into his back. Furman finding a way, look at this lock. He might take the big man down here, guys. What do you think of the technique here, Troop? It's an effect, you can see he's really under the chin, so he's really got that choke sunk in. Let's see if Che is able to stay conscious. That arm is draping there. I think Cabrera is going out. I think he's going out. What a submission victory this would be for Yuma. And you can kiss the Zaddies goodbye. Oh. No, sir, not yet. Something left in the tank. 
Almost. You can really see the color change, though, in Che Cabrera's face. Not so fast. We're seeing the power of Cabrera. Oh, look at that by Martinson. Cheap shot. And that only put more pressure onto that choke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh. look out here. Referee busy with Martinson breaking up. That submission attempt was a bad dude. That bad dude looking to win by any means necessary. Their careers here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood on the line. Everything hangs in the balance. Good point. Looked like bad dude Tito got tired of Vermin pulling their dirty tactics and came over and threw something of his own in there. Tell you what, guys, we're really very much back to square one in this main event matchup with so much on the line. Tag is made, here comes the bad dude. Likewise, Martinson Whoa! checks in. Big high elevation, of course. This all came down to Tito, personally against Vermin, and now we're gonna see it. I don't know that Vermin made a tag there. Both members are still in. We'll, we'll see what the referee decides here. But right now, the bad dude having fun, Whoa! dividing and conquering. Watch out! Big drops, man, what a suplex. What a top of Kevin. A little variation of that bad dude driver. Ooh. Oh, and there it is. Center of the ring. Goodbye, Vermin. See you later. Thanks for playing. No, only a count of two. It was close. We've got Shea Cabrera back in the battle now. I think we can tell who you're cheering for, TK. Well, you know, they were going for the cover there. Maybe the other way around I'd have some enthusiasm, but I'm not sure. We'll see if it happens. Oh, whoa. Oh. Thumb to the eye there by Marnson. I wouldn't want to be the official in this thing. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Wow. Over. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, and that was some damn sure dangerous physics going on there. Pulling my goodness. Out, pulling out all the stops here in our main event at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Now all we got left is Tito and Yuma in the ring. Let's see them handle this beef. Who's going the home? Ball, he was Ooh. looking. He was looking for that sex factor, and now the bad dude has been unleashed, and this place is going crazy. Could this be the beginning of the end of Vermin? Might be on their way, might be scurrying back to their holes in their dumpsters. Oh, shot! Loser might be leaves out. town. Oh, Who man. will be victorious? Martinson still fighting. Martinson still fighting with everything he's got. He knows his partners in Deep trouble here, uh oh Look out here, I think he might be looking for weapons grade balonium on the floor. Again, both teams going all out. Here we go. Oh, gonna get the high ground. There it oh! is! Weapons grade balonium on the outside and bodies are strewn everywhere. Again, you gotta, you gotta wonder, what, all four men are down, who's gonna be the first to their feet? What happens if they both get counted out? Is everybody gone? I, well, that's, that would be like a double loss. I, maybe so. That would be a, a, a Nico Marquez. Maybe we'd have a judgment call. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Yuma back in the ring. Martinson helping him out. But the, the count, oh, the count is continuing here. The count is continuing on the, on the Zaddies. We're up to seven. Okay, oh, Tito, come on. You guys got to get in there. Somebody's got to get in. It's up to nine. Oh, at the oh. last split second. So close. I'm surprised Yuma doesn't just go for the pin here with how damaged both these competitors are. Again, I know I know we talked about the tag earlier. I think the referee has decided that Johnny Yuma and Tito as Brad and Tito are the legal men in this match. Absolutely, matchup. even despite all the extracurricular on the outside. That was crazy that there's been so much chaos, it's been hard to keep up with who the who the legal man is. Weapons grade balonium on the outside. Off the ramp. members, unbelievable. But you're right, it's come down to this. Who wants it more? There couldn't be two better people in the ring fighting it out right now than Yuma and Tito for this Ooh. piece. Big suplex, whose career will end? Whose career will go on? But that throw took Yuma right to his own corner, and that allows Martinson to make the tag. And we've got one heck of a brawl here. These two trading like Wall Street, center of the ring, Cabrera, Martinson going toe to toe. Now Martinson looking for maybe a big suplex here. Uh, maybe a no. I think he was thinking Brain Buster has put away so many with that over the years, but just too much power there by Cabrera. That's the thing about the Zaddies, TK. Again, power from Cabrera, power from Bad Dude Tito. It's a real power struggle. Look out here. Oh, oh man. Martinson's out. You got to believe. And that might open the door 
Are we, are we looking at some satisfaction? Might open the door for satisfaction. Might close the door permanently on Vermin. Yuma for the save. Wait, no. Martinson countering, looking for the rat trap. Are looking we, for the rat trap. We've got it in. We've seen many men tap to this one. It's going to be the end of the Zaddies. No. What? Wait, what is the bad dude doing? What a way to break that up. Wait, what a main event matchup with so much on the line. I don't want to watch, or I don't want to talk. Uh -oh. I just want to watch this match. It's crazy. Oh! Double disc punch. Took his head off. Covers. Goodbye, Vermin. Yuma no. saves him again. Finds a way. Wait, they are Vermin. They're like cockroaches. They'll be the only thing left, guys. They, they survive everything, does Vermin. Can they survive the Zaddies? Now Yuma try to get Martins into his corner. Get back in there. He's the fresh man right now. But there's the veteran wear of Yuma, even in the midst of warfare like this. Saying to load him up, looking for another double team move. Uh-oh. Oh, the old, he's right behind me, isn't he? Watch out here. You're not going to like the view. Don't turn around. Oh, he's... Ooh, shot by... Shot by Yuma. Yeah, Yuma broke the hands there. Oh, here we go. Looking for explosive oh! amnesia. But something happened on the way to the form. Tito out of left field. Well, now he's begging. He's begging. Here oh, we he, go, Todd. Oh, yeah. Can't get no satisfaction. See you later. Oh, bye-bye, Vermin. Here are your winners, the Wolf Zaddies. The Wolf Zaddies get the victory. And we've just been handed a memo from the back, officially from the desk of Nico Marquez, that this memo is, le that it's legit, that stipulation will be upheld. The contracts of Vermin for championship wrestling, they will be terminated. But let's look back at how it all happened. How about the action earlier on the outside? We bring you the action brought to you by the Birthday Bash in Memphis on April 25th. Look on the outside, this double team move, the explosive amnesia on the outside, back inside, rat trap. Thought that was gonna do it, but in the end, the Zadis faction gets it done. Goodbye, Vern. I can't believe what we've seen, TK. I can't believe it. The end of Johnny Uma, the end of Kevin Martinson, the end of Vermin on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. We have witnessed history here. Vermin will not inherit the earth. And we'll be back. Blake, you're going to join us next, next week for week two? Absolutely. I'll be And just like that, the Wolf Zaddies have exterminated Vermin. What a great episode of Championship Wrestling presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. And be sure to come on back again next week because we are going to have the Percy Pringle the Third Cup Finals as the neon phenomenon Anthony Idol takes on Ray Rosas. But that's not all. My broadcast partner, the timeless one, Levi Shapiro, will be in action against the old thorn in his side, Buddy Royal, with a shot at Dan Joseph's television championship on the line. That's all next week and more. But until then, I want to just remind you all, please stay happy, healthy, be safe, wash your hands, and please... Wear the mask. You could save a life. Don't be a heel. Just wear the mask. But take care, everyone. We will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching, wrestling fans. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.